How do, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Arsenal save with me, Freddie Adu, where we're taking Arsenal from fourth place to league champions. That's the aim for this season. Champions League as well? Mm, maybe. But for now, we're concentrating on the Prem. We've got Sunderland away, then an international break, and then back for Chelsea at home. Big game. Two big games. Our away form hasn't been amazing. Our home form has been amazing. But these are going to be two tough games. I mean, if you look at that, there's not a single loss in there. And there's only one game that wasn't a win. But that one game was an away game against West Brom. Now, uh, that's not a great performance there. The 1-0 win against Middlesbrough away was an even worse performance. Um, so, league games away from home. We beat Liverpool really, actually, very well. But the two weakest performances against, have been against a weaker team in this division away from home and that is definitely what this next game is so we need to improve despite all this green we need to improve all right guys just a quick apology here really um the footage unfortunately corrupted uh, i did my best to recover it but with mixed success uh, the footage it isn't great it's a little jerky in places there's bits where audio cuts in and out i've done my best to rescue it hopefully it's okay hopefully you still enjoy it uh, if not i apologize um, did my best. Uh, sorry. A few episodes ago, I said something about how uh, I always feel like injuries are about give and take. Like whenever I get some back, they take someone else away. And I've got Gabriel and El Nenny back to full training, and Bellerin's injured. I'd rather have Bellerin than El, El Nenny and Gabriel. But Bellerin's out for three weeks. Thankfully, two of those weeks will be international break, so uh, not too bad. I'm going to leave it to the physio. But that's not great. Bellerin's been really, really good this season. How's he been getting on performance-wise? 7.78 in the Premier League games. And higher, and higher than that in the friendlies. Uh, overall, 7.75. That is outstanding for someone 21. His performance outlined by the fact that for the second month in a row, he has retained now his uh, Young Player of the Month award. He will be coming in third. Very good stuff. But yeah, Hector Bellerin, he's been young player of the season technically so far because no one else has held this award but him. And I personally get Manager of the Month award because we've won every game and haven't conceded a goal this month, I don't think. Um, yeah, so did, Ka so did Conte and Pep, but they know their place. They are beneath the great Freddy Adu. Little pinch of salt with that, though it hasn't given me an email to do with anything about player of the month, so... None of our players were even in reckoning for that this month, apparently. Apparently. Apparently that was Marcus Alonso for Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Saido Berahino and Costa. Oh, they, they scored four and three goals each. Giroud scored three in one game. He's top... Sc I think he's top scorer. Um, 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 player overview. He's top scorer of the entire division. He should be player of the century. He should be player of the universe every single day because he is no but seriously though nine goals in six games a goal over 55 minutes he's a fucking god so El Nenny and Gabriel both good for a half um, I dare say El Nenny might get on the bench I don't think Gabriel will um, we shall see in a minute so yeah Bellerin will be a bit of a miss for this one uh, I've brought Debussy in and a slightly more defensive role I've also brought Monreal in for Gibbs again slightly more defensive role because we are away from home uh, Ramsey's in for Xhaka, Ozil's in for Fabregas, Sanchez is back, Sanchez is in for Iwobi, uh, El Neni gets a place on the bench, uh, other than that's the usual team, let's fucking roll. Okay, so their, their lineup is going to be Pickford, uh, Mankio, Kone, Jilabaji, John O'Shea at left back, might have some joy with uh, Ox down the right then, uh, Kirchhoff at CDM, Katamol and Rodwell in centre mid, uh, Yanazai and Kazri at winger and then Defoe up top. Defoe's dangerous. Uh, I'm not too sure about John O'Shea as a left back. And um, either their full backs are on very defensive roles or their centre backs are both on stopper. Which pushing up against you and that might not be the best idea. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, might exploit the right flank if things aren't going too well. And I've said that before. I've said that before, haven't I? It went, it went pretty decent. It went pretty decent for Ox against. Uh, who was it? Was it against West Ham? Was it against West Ham and they had uh, Arbeloa at left back? Do it! Here we go then, Mankio with their throw in. Here's Defoe. Plays it 
that's got to be offside, surely. <laughs> Only by in about four miles. Jesus. What was he doing? Let's actually watch this replay if it gives us one. To see how far offside he is. What's he doing all the way on the goal line? So he makes his run. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Oh. I've been awoken from my slumber. That is, that's been this game so far. It's been drab as hell. Here's the foe on the edge of the box. Can he make something for them? Great ball, Kazri. Great save, check. That's why you invest in a proper goalkeeper. I didn't, but Arsenal did. Kazri with the corner. Corner's normally death of highlights. Yeah, decent save, check. Good goalkeeping, my friend. Poor performance again, though. Not too happy with the performances away from home so far. Apart from Liverpool. Um, and Villarreal but against against lesser teams away from home we're getting found out a little here that's great football and a fantastic save oh free kick for us Ozil over it smashes it off the bar and it didn't fall for one of our players it's going to be a goal kick what an effort from Ozil let's have another look at this from another angle oh great effort son unlucky and that will be that for the first half that was uh well, shite, I'm going to uh, tell him I'm far from please, but calmly. Uh, that's got Monreal looking nervous. Come on, mate. Don't be nervous. And I am going to exploit the right flank. I want to get want to get Ox. Let's say run at defence as well. I want to get Ox at John O'Shea. Come on, mate. You can do John O'Shea. He's dog shit and he's slow as fuck. Just do it! Oh, they've got a corner here. Pienaar whips it in. And it's headed in by Lamina Kone. We're behind. That's the first goal we conceded in fucking ages. And we are behind. Uh, for the first time since, I think, against West Brom. In the game that we eventually got an undeserved in draw. And it's just a basic cornering check. Miss Comes and misses it. And Kone heads into an empty net. That's why you invest in a proper goalkeeper. Poor goal to concede. And we're going to have to change stuff here. We're going to have to change big things. Alright, so here's what I've done. Uh, I've put Debouche onto a more attacking role. I've put, put Gibbs on for Monreal and put him in an attacking role. Um, Fabregas is on for Coquelin and in Ramsey's role, Ramsey's gone to a ball to, uh, a box to box midfield, I should say. And we've gone to attacking. We've turned off right flank. Uh, we've put early crosses on for Giroud as target man. Oh, I'm not too sure though. Uh, we've gone to attacking as well instead of control. <sighs> I'm hopeful, but I'm unsure. I'm turning off here early crosses. I don't think it's a good idea. Change my mind. Change my mind. I'm surrounded by idiots. 80th minute, and we've still got absolutely nothing. Um, I have brought uh, Fabregas forward into Ozil's position and set him as an attacking midfielder at attack, hopefully get beyond Giroud. Uh, therefore, I've brought Xhaka on for Ozil to go behind in the box-to-box -box role. Uh, Ramsey's back to advanced playmaker, but this time on attack instead of support. Ah, oh, come on, please. Here we go, got a corner. Fabregas over it. It's easily headed away by Vitnair, but Giroud will pick it up. Give it back to Fabregas, good. Low cross, that's wank. Why is this a highlight then? Why is this a highlight? Is this the game ending highlight from here? Gonna you know, let me sit through this long. Ramsey, Xhaka. Ramsey again. Alexis. That's a poor shot. Gibbs has space, puts the ball in, but it's easy for Pickford. If this is the game ending highlight, and you're going to make me sit through two and a half minutes in real time of this bollocks, then football manager, I'm going to shit on your kids. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Sorry. But here's Ramsey with a long ball forward, easily picked up by Kirchhoff, but it's going to come to Ox. It's going to play it for Giroud, but it's poor ball. Gilabodji cuts it out easily. And then Dither's on it. Come on, Ox. Catch him on the ball. Catch him. Yes, Ox. Good. And there's Alexis. And it's a one-all. <laughs> what a shit goal. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to put it on standard. Oh, what a crap goal. What a crap performance. But Gillibodji doing what Gillibodji does. Pickford, no man's land. And Alexis just hammers one down the middle of the goal. Pickford can't get to it. Ugh. John O'Shea, O'Shea. There's still 45 seconds. This could be a highlight for either side if we need the ball or if they put an attack together. Here's Rodwell. Wide for Pinar. Good ball looking for Defoe. Koscielny cuts it out, but it's only back to Pinar. 
Here's Paddy McNair. Here's Watmore. Well done, Kashelny again. Here's Chambo. Come on, last minute attack. Come on, let's go. Chambo, Chambo, Chambo. No, it's just going to be the game ending highlight. It's just going to show me a lot of bollocks. For no apparent reason, but there we go. One all away from home, another poor performance. Very, very reminiscent to both Middlesbrough and uh, West Brom, if memory serves, where we just don't really deserve to get anything, but we're going to get a point. Uh, but the most important thing to take out of this is that I am still undefeated. And with that, we're into the international break, so I'm going to go for a nap. The video will continue after these messages, I guess. Let's play for it. Let's go. When things get hot, Sierra Mist. Taste one shockingly refreshing lemon lime. What are you doing? We're okay. <laughs> so, during that international break, we have had injuries to Carvalho and Lucas. Yay! Fuck you. So, look at these two fixtures that we have coming up. Two big, big games at the Emirates. Chelsea on the Saturday and PSG on the Tuesday. Two huge games in this season. Something I didn't notice um, was that Kishelny actually picked up his fifth yellow card in that last game. So we're without Kishelny, so Holding's coming into the back line, as is Jenkinson. Meaning that back line, the right hand side of it at least, doesn't. In fact, I'm going to swap those two over in terms of their side. Um, put you to central defender, put you to ball playing defender. Um, this back four is looking a little weak. Uh, Cochrane's going to go to box to box midfielder. Xhaka's going to come in on deep line player, make a defend. Uh, the front four staying as they are. Um, I'm. I think this is the least confident going into a game that I've been on this save so far. You can do it. Well, we're definitely against the Conte team. Uh, their team is Courtois, David Luiz, Zuma, and Terry. Uh, Dave at right wing back. Conte and Matic with Marcus Alonso. And then that's the defence. There is no midfield. And then uh, three up top are William Costa Hazard. That is a troublesome trio. But uh, that's a lot of defensive players. I feel like we can maybe boss the midfield by playing sort of a bit deeper. And trying to go through them. Maybe, maybe get around the wings. Maybe. I'm not too sure. We'll see how it starts. And then we'll change if needs be. Okay, Urza with a free kick very early on. Can he bang it in? Yes, he can into the fucking top bins. Oh, you little fucking beauty. You little frog-eyed little freak boy. That was needlessly harsh. I'm very happy with him. He doesn't take much of a run-up, just a one-step run-up. And then, bosh. Wall didn't jump, that's poor. Courtois hasn't got a prayer. Great free kick, great start. Here we go, free kick from wide. Alexis to take this one. Holdings in there with a header. Easy save for Courtois. Okay, Jenkinson with our throw on the right. It's a poor throw, Matic either cuts it out. So can, they, can they launch a counter? It's going to look for Costa, who heads on to nobody. Uh, this will be Mustafi to pick it up. Play it across. Holding. There's pressure on him, but he's played well. Come on then, Gibbs. Let's launch an attack of our own here. Alexis. Oh, excellent stuff, Alexis. Who's he got supporting? He's got Giroud. Can Giroud turn his man? No, he can't. It's going to be Mustafi. Mustafi just kind of hoofed it there. They're struggling to get out, it looks like. If we can just keep control here, then we have control of the game and therefore them. Xhaka. Ozil, good play. Coquelin, making his way forward. Ozil. That's a poor ball, though. Oh, but that's an even poorer one, and Alexis makes it 2. 2-0. Two <laughs> oh. Neither goal are... Oh. Right home worthy. I guess Ozil's free kick is a good free kick, but this goal, it's not a great ball from Ozil. And Aspilicueta, Dave, that's abysmal, mate. Can't give Alexis that kind of chance. He'll bury that every time. Okay, so it's shown the kickoff. Now, sometimes I ignore these, but that tends to mean it's a big highlight. Here's Hazard through for Costa. Are they going to get one back straight away? No, they're not, because Czech's a fucking beast. And that was a poor attempt at a chip. It just flashed up saying that we're struggling to cope with their numbers in midfield. You know the assistant tips that come up up here? 
we're struggling to cope with their numbers in midfield. Let's actually have a look at down the stats because I, I don't believe you. I, I, I definitely, 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 definitely do not believe you. I've had 57% of possession. Apparently they've had the only clear-cut chance, so the one Alexis scored wasn't a clear-cut chance, apparently. Um, we've completed more passes. We've generally had more possession. Territorially, we'd had the better of it. Where's territory on here? Is it... Uh, um, 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 um. Here it is, action zones. Um, the, they've barely had the ball in our half. We've had more of the ball in the middle of the park. And we've had a fair bit of the ball in their attacking third as well. So how are we not dealing with their numbers in midfield? We're bossing them in the midfield. Bullshit, mate. Calling you on your bullshit. Okay, here's their first highlight that's starting in our half. And that's a good ball for Hazard. Can he put the ball across? He can. It's Willie and it's 2-1. Ooh, they're back in it. Willian's first goal of the season. Willian, the cheeky Brazilian. Terry plays it down the line. I'm a little disappointed at the poor marking there. No one's really picked up Hazard. I don't know where Jenko's got to. Czech could have maybe got it. Could have definitely got that. Not a great goal to concede. I'm not really happy with that one, if I'm honest. Beers our corner. Erzil. Put it in. Put it in a good ball, mate. It's a bit deep. Mustafi Xhaka. Oh, what a finish. What a finish, my son. Get that first goal for Arsenal. Left foot volley, what a beast. He's got a book in, but who gives a shit if he's going to just start lashing him in like that. Is this into the roof of the net? Let's have a look. Bang. Great finish, fantastic finish. Two goal lead restored. Sorry, I was too busy burping to start commentating there. Ozil plays it back for Coquelin. Plays it to Xhaka. And back to Coquelin, who's in space? Chambo. Jenko's wide of him. Can he do his man? Not really. <laughs> Here comes the counter attack. Hazard, Costa, get stuck into him. Oh dear. Hazard's got a bit of space. Willian's got a lot of space. That's surely a penalty. Yes, it is. Depending on uh, FM's interpretation of the last man rule, this could be a red card, but it should be yellow based on the current rules and regulations. It is a yellow. Well done, FM. Well done. But they have a penalty to get back to 3-2. This has been an excellent half. Very entertaining. So it started with our attack. It's going to show the... The replay will show all of it up to that. Fuck me. Fuck that shit. Fast forward through all of this bit. And just get to the point where he fouls him. And I've missed it. <laughs> yeah, definitely a penalty. There's no arguing. I, I have no argument against that. Definite penalty. Come on, check. Oh, fuck. Hazard doesn't mess penalties, does he? 3-2. Well, an excellent first half for the neutrals. Not such an excellent first half for me. I'm a bit nervous. Going to calmly guard against complacency. I'm not going to change anything tactically because I feel like we are, we've are we dominated possession. They've scored with two counter-attacks. We need to maybe watch for that a little more. In fact, in fact, I will change things tactically a little bit. I will change... Coquelin back to ball win midfielder support and hopefully then he won't be caught forward as much and he won't be caught on counter attacks quite as much that's the theory let's see in practice still dominating possession but I'd really I really want a fourth goal really really want a fourth goal just to Kieran Gibbs has played a 5.9 I've only just noticed that holy shit I'm going to take him off taking him off for Monreal and put Monreal on wing back on defend uh, Jenkinson can you play well on defend, mate? Uh, not really. Holy shit, okay. Uh, what about if I play you as a wing-back on defend? Can you do that a little better? You can do that a lot better. There we go. Okay, so we're switching from full-back attacks to wing-back defense. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. Jack is knackered so he can come off. I'm bringing him on off for, sorry, for El Nenny. I think that's El Nenny's ideal role as well. Yes, it is. Okay, El Nenny. Do for me, son. Come on. I, I have faith in you. Yes, excellent. Check with the goal kick. He clears it forward. It's Aina for them. Costa. Get a tackle in holding. Oh, dear. They've got numbers. Hazard. Oh, check. You fucking beast. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Please, can we just calm the fuck down? Oh, I love this game. Okay. Free kick. Marcus Lonzo takes it for Matic. For Hazard. No one's closing down Matic. He bangs it across. Check saves. Don't be a penalty for that. No. Shit. 
From 3-1 up, we've given away two penalties. One of them so, so late. So, so late. Mustafi booked, but that's besides the point at the minute. I don't, I don't need to see it. I know it was a penalty. Come on, check. Please, mate. Please. Come on, check. Yes, son. Get up. Yes! <laughs> Flashback to when I said Hazard doesn't miss penalties. Hazard doesn't miss penalties, does he? Oh, yes, check. I fucking love you. Never mind Giroud. Oh, Giroud's been relegated to mistress. Check is my wife. That's weird. I've been ignoring this. Here we go, Ozil. Giroud. Oh, look at the space for Chambo. Come on, Chambo. Seal it, mate. Seal it. Yes! <laughs> Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Oh. I actually feel a little bit sick. I've been so nervous in this game. Oh, Chambo. You fucking beauty. If Chet's my wife and Giroud's my mistress, you can be my little... My little rent boy. Stop saying these things. El Nani out to Chambo. I'm actually out of breath. Chambo puts a crap ball across straight out for a goal kick, but that will be the end. 4 2. What a game. What a game. And by what a game, I mean both in terms of that match that we just watched and this game that I am playing. I love Football Manager. There's, un there's nothing else like it. There's no other game that goes to this much depth. Get this, that gives you this much feeling that gives you this much satisfaction and this much crushing disappointment when it doesn't go well oh this is why we all play it this is why we all love it oh, and mainly because my heart can't take it anymore my heart can't take it anymore we're going to end the episode there for today Oh, I, that's why I play this game and that's why I play this game so return next time. Join me next time. Sorry for the next episode. I'm sorry. I'm so shaken from that. <laughs> Join me for the next episode. We'll play PSG at home in the Champions League. That'll be the first game up. I'll remember the 8-bit theme this time. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment with constructive criticism because I know I'm not very good at this. <sighs> and yeah. Join me. Join me. I contend that I'm gorgeous.